Hello there guys, today I'm going to show you how to test a capacitor with a multimeter and a EOS hub meter. Uh, some multimeters don't have um, a capacitance function, so it will be an option to buy a capacitance meter off eBay or your local electronics store. Um, it's quite simple really, you uh, take your multimeter, you set it to capacitance, as you can see here. If you don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, I've got an auto ranging uh, function on my one, but just refer to your uh, so user manual as per your multimeter. Um, basically, you take your negative terminal, stick it onto the negative side, as I'm doing here. Take your positive, stick it onto the positive side. And uh, my one always takes a bit of a while before it gives me a reading. Um, you should see it change in a bit. Right, that's 980 UF uh, microfarad. Um, this is a 1000 microfarad capacitor that's within the 10% margin, so that's good. Um, right, now onto the ESR meter test. Um, some ESR meters are different, but basically they all do the same thing. They check for equivalency resistance. Um, If you guys can see this, there we go. Right, uh, my my uh, ESR meter has a discharging function and it has a little, a neat little graph here. It actually shows you the microfarad values in the bottom and um, the ESR ohms per that value. Uh, if you just look at the charges, the red means obviously it's really bad. The yellow means that it's mm, in between, but it's better you replace it anyway. And the green obviously refers to it being good. Um, basically, you just take your take your capacitor, you touch the leads to them, wait for it to give you a ESR on This is 0.25, as you can see. Right, but on your reading here, it shows you a one one k. It's 1,000 microfarad capacitor, which this is. It's showing up 0.25 instead of 0.10. It uh, doesn't necessarily mean bad in all cases. It's a graph, it's just merely there as a guide. Uh, if you want to be sure, try to get another 1000 microfarad capacitor. Make sure this one's good from a good supplier. Most people have some lying around. If you don't, you can order some from a local electronics store or eBay. And touch your leaves together as well. And check the reading on that one. It's 0.25 as well. So we know that this is a good capacitor. Um, I hope this helps someone out there and uh, good luck with your testing.